In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install Northwind Database. It's included as a resource on this lecture, so you need to download northwind.tar, and then I'm going to show you how to take that file and pull it into your database. Now, when you installed PostgreSQL with the installer, one of the things it added was a PG Admin tool, and that's the tool that we're going to use to interact with the database. So if you go to the directory where Postgres was installed, you're going to see this PG Admin 4 file, and you want to click it. And this is the program that we're going to use to run our queries against the database. So once PG Admin 4 comes up, you're going to see a list of servers over here. And this should have a server that you just installed. If you click here, it'll show you, okay, it's Postgres 9.6. Then click your databases. Right now it comes installed with Postgres database. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to create a new database. We're going to call that database Northwind. So there you go. And once you've created the name here, you click Save, and it's going to create a new Northwind database. So now click that. Now right now, if we go down to Schemas, Public, and Tables, you're going to see that there's nothing here. We haven't installed anything yet. So what you want to do is right-click right here. And then you want to restore. And we're going to restore using the tar file that you downloaded as a resource. So click Restore. Now you're going to have to find the file. So I clicked here. Now it's in my download directories. Now you initially you don't see anything, but you have to go over here and change it to All Files. And then select the Northwind tar file. Hit Select. And then hit Restore. And then when it finishes, it's going to come back with this uh, confirmation screen right here. Now you want to go over and you want to right-click your database and refresh. And then if you go down here to Tables, you're going to see that you've now got the 14 tables that come with Northwind. All right, that's it for this lecture. And the next one, we're going to discuss uh, how to do simple select statements. See you then.